this first. <laughs> I'll right. tell you something else that looks good. A movie what? called Ocean's 8. Oh, oh yes. yes. I'll tell you what else looks good that. is the cast of Ocean's 8. I yeah. would also agree with you on that one, too. I'll tell you what, we got a whole bunch of Academy Award winners and stars in this thing, and it sort of takes off from, remember, Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12, and the guys, the big heist things in Las Vegas. Well, this is a heist movie. It's all ladies, lovely ladies, talented ladies, and the heist takes place in New York City. In three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it. Not the ball itself, but the neck of Daphne Kluger. Valued at over a hundred million dollars. One hundred and fifty million, actually. <laughs> Taylor Swift? Can't we just go to this? Do we have to steal stuff? Yes. yes. And here we go. The heist is on, and every character in this thing is a real character. They've got some real star power in that. You know, Kate's won two Academy Awards and won one. Sandra Bullock's won one. She's been nominated for a couple. So it's a great cast, it's a great story. And I thought maybe it was just going to be sort of a gimmick playing off the Ocean's 11, Ocean's mm -hmm. 12, but it's much better than that. It's a lot of fun. It opens on the 8th. That's like next week. Okay. June 8th. So you can check for, it out. For the 8th, for the Ocean 8. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. They, they try to make her look bad like she's in jail, and she still looks stunning. <laughs> this is very irritating to me. I'm side note, I'm sorry. Keep going. I like Keep that going. Idea. Well, Anne Hathaway and Aquafina. She's a rapper. Jimmy, you know Aquafina? Oh, absolutely. It sounds a little bit like something you put on your face after I you shave. I definitely thought it was. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, we or talked, about, water, talked a little bit about bringing the feminine touch to Ocean's 8. We thought about it from no. like, uh, how do we put our feminine touch on a we man's just, world? Because it. I don't think about it as a necessarily male world. It was a space that men had occupied. And it was a joy for us to discover what, um, what a group of women could do together. Um, I'm curious, how did you feel as a man seeing it? I just thought it was terrific. I think it's fresh. I mean, I love this whole idea of women gaining more power. You know, we, we had an election uh, in the past couple of days where another lady has an opportunity to become governor. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, things are switching back and forth in a way that I think this is the right movie at the right time. Yeah. I, I'm glad to hear you say that. I feel, you know, I think what everybody wants is equality and everyone just wants to feel safe mm -hmm. and like they have a fair shot at living a great life in this world and, and you know, uh, I think this movie is taking on a greater significance because it's a comedy, you know, yeah. like it's it's a comedy yeah. starring women, but I think it's taking on significance in people's mind is how how excellent it can be when you let women get together and do their thing. Totally. And you know, part of me wants to say like, yes, like this is so this is so meaningful and this is about time. And another part of me wants to live in a world where we can just kind of run a heist yeah. and it's yeah. not really like a political like a crazy statement. like a, a political thing, yeah. I'll tell you what's really funny about this whole thing, that interview, is Aquafina, who's a rapper. She doesn't and, and seem of, like a rapper. She's a very... thing. Some of the stuff she says and, and her lyrics and some of the things she talks about would just, it'd make you blush. <laughs> I mean, it'd make, it'd make a rapper blush. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, that's I intense. Mean, she gets right to the point, so to speak, and okay. she is a wild little character. But it's it's funny how you get them around different people and the per different sides of their personality. Show sure. Up. Yeah, so then we talked to some more people in the cast. Of course, Sandra Bullock's in it, Sarah Paulson, you know Sarah Paulson from Love Freaks. Her. and. She's in a lot of great stuff. She's terrific. And Mindy Kaling, you know, she was in The Office. She wrote about 24 of those. She's directed them. I mean, there's another great, great talent. So talking about all these ladies when they finally got together for the first time, what it was like. It was exciting. It was nerve-wracking. Yeah. It was filled with hope and anticipation. And it very clearly became one. I hate you. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What did I do? Filled with hope and anticipation. anticipation. Just... Is that it's incorrect sweet. English? No, no it's, it's just, very sweet. It's very, oh. it's very special. <laughs> She's a terrible person. Well, yes. I should ask, then, how has your relationships changed since you no, first met? Oh, they changed met? dramatically. <laughs> um, you know, like with one of these movies, the better story would come if there was someone who was yeah. like had a terrible personality or was or problematic. Like that would mean yeah. better juicy stories. The the challenge always comes is like it was really fun and, and it was easy. very functional. Yeah. Um, and yeah, everyone was was pretty cool yeah. and normal. There's no one waging a turf war. I it wish was there was. Piece. It would have been a better story. I know. Yeah, but, but oh it, it was an equal. It was an ensemble piece. There was no one in there going, "I'm going to take my moment and I'm going to find my moment to shine." And everyone had each other's backs. Which once we realized that was happening, we all got to relax and rely on each other. And it's it was a rare thing. I think our show should be more like that. We shouldn't have turf wars. And yes. Well, there's always looking, turf wars. Looking for He's... our moment to shine, Exactly. Right? Right. We gotta, it's a new day. That's it. You... I don't like either one of them, to be honest. But... Well, when Jimmy comes, it helps <laughs> settle it down a bit, right? 
Now, no star status in this movie, I tell you what. No, just tons I mean, of stars. Be good. And, and they all have their own places. It's a terrific film. I enjoyed it. I think you'll enjoy it. And it opens on the 8th, June 8th, so check it out. And we have passes to a preview screening for Ocean's 8. Oh the God. screening is, let me tell you when it is. Yeah, that guy, in the, that guy in the control room will wake up. There we go. It's Monday, June 4th at Cinemark Valley View. And if you're calling number 8, you can win the tickets, 216-578-0888. Look at her, look at her. Good luck. If I look luck. like that in jail, <laughs> yeah, probably won't.